वेलकम टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ द हरप्रीत सिंह शो अज के सैगमेंट में डेविड पैटरसन जो सा मेहमान ने कनेडियन ब्लड सर्विस तो डायरैक्टर ऑफ डोनर रिलेशन ये जानकारी देने कि कनेडियन ब्लड सर्विस की काम करती है किस तरह तुम भी ब्लड डोनेट कर सकते हो ब्लड डोनेशन किस तरीके लोगों का फायदा होंगे है इन सारे इशूज उत्ते आओ जानकारी लेने डेविड पैटरसन तो वेलकम टू द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो लिटल बिट अबाउट योर सो यूर डायरैक्टर ऑफ डोनर रिलेशन सो वट डू यू डू Well, very simply put, I recruit uh, blood donors. Okay. Me and my team recruit blood donors, mm -hmm. uh, and we also recruit registrants for our stem cell program. Right. And there's two programs there. One is our adult stem cell program. Okay. Uh, and the other one is our core blood program, which runs out of Women's Hospital in Vancouver, and also hospitals in Edmonton, Winnipeg, right. and um, sorry, Edmonton, Brampton, and Ottawa. Okay. So let's first start with the blood services, Canadian blood services. The name shows that uh, you collect blood. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. So 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 basically this blood uh, which is collected where is it used and uh, what kind of uh, people can come forward to donate blood? So as an organization in Canada and I won't talk for Quebec they actually have their own blood service. Okay. We collect over 800,000 units of blood every year. Okay. That's a lot of blood. Right. And that 800,000 units is solely for the purpose of transfusing blood into patients who need it. Mm -hmm. So that could be people that are maybe undergoing cancer therapy that need regular transfusions, or it could be someone who is in a car accident. Right. And you know, a car accident victim could use up to 50 units of blood. So when you think that 800,000 units is a big number, mm. uh, we're kept very busy collecting that on behalf of Canadian patients. Right. Uh, so David, like you said, 50 units of blood can be used for one car accident, which means that. Uh, one unit of blood is given by one person when he or she comes to donate blood so 50 people's blood is can be used uh, for one car accident yeah it, it's an amazing stat we mm -hmm. can have an entire blood donor clinic whose blood could be used just to support one patient right. and that's in a case where a uh, a trauma victim a car accident victim may come to a hospital and they need to really keep adding units to the patient to keep them alive while they figure why they're bleeding mm -hmm. and what's particularly important there with car accident victims is that oftentimes there's not enough time to find out what blood type they are right. and as we know it's important to match blood types so in that case they will give the patient the trauma the car accident victim o negative blood mm -hmm. and so that's a really important part for us because It's a unit of blood that is always in need. Right. So if you have any viewers out there that are O negative blood types, we'd love to see them in our clinics. Okay. Because O negative blood is only in 7% of the Canadian population. Right. So when you think of the fact that we need O neg any time really that people can't be matched, mm -hmm. there's really an important need and so we need a constant supply of O negative. Right. Let's talk about the demand and need. Is Canadian Blood Services able to meet the demand? Yeah, we we're very lucky in that we've designed our system to be a national system. Mm -hmm. So that uh in we ship blood right across the country to where it's needed because right. sometimes it's not that you might not have the right amount of blood, but it might be the right blood type that's needed. Right. So we transfer units right across the country and the benefit is that if something happens in Atlantic Canada, for example, mm -hmm. I give it's a very pertinent example that over the last couple of months you've heard of all the snow in Ontario and yep. Atlantic Canada. Well in those provinces we've actually lost blood donor clinics right. because our staff can't get there to open up the clinics and mm -hmm. our donors can't get there. Right. So what that means is that we support patients in, in Atlantic Canada and even in Central Canada mm -hmm. from donors in the rest of Canada. Right. And so that would happen for us in British Columbia if something happened here, we have the rest of Canada to support us. So it, it works very well. Right. Okay, tell us who can come from what age onwards to come to your clinic to donate blood. So you need to be 17 years old. There's mm -hmm. a minimum age of 17 years old. Right. And you can donate until you don't feel well enough to donate. So there's no upper age limit of to donate blood. Right. And that's important to note because we used to have an upper age limit of 71. Mm -hmm. And we've removed that because we found that a lot of donors well into their 80s right. are still coming and donating and we're very happy to have them. Mhm. Mm So we ask that you be minimum of 17. There are some height and weight requirements, right. so you need to be uh you know how, how there's a lot of really tiny Skinny young girls yeah. these days. Right. So that makes it harder. So you need to be have a minimum height and weight. Right. Um 
and, that, and to be in good health. So okay. when somebody shows up to our clinic, mm -hmm. uh, we try to make sure that they're in good health and that they feel, feel good in donating today because while it's important to get a good unit of blood to transfuse to a patient, right. we also want to make sure that the donor is in good health and they were not going to adversely affect their health. Right. Now there's a, there's a great reference if you, people are interested in whether they can or can't donate. Mm -hmm. uh, they can go to our website, blood.ca, okay. and there's an easy check that list there okay. that they can see, can I donate? Okay. And there's uh, a very simple eight, eight questions that they can check, right. and that'll give them a pretty good sense. Okay, but uh, we would also like to know the process. Like for example, I make up my mind to come to your blood clinic. First of all, I check it up where in the city it is, I go over there. Right. So do I have to set up a prior appointment or I can just walk in and say that I want to donate blood? And if yes, they say yes, there is space, you can come in. So what process is followed? I just go and give my blood or there are some checks and balances which are followed? Sure, I'll give you, I'll give you a sense of the process. Mm -hmm. So um, generally we would like people to go get a bit educated, go to our website, have a look, because we don't want to waste their time either right. by coming down to our clinic. Mm -hmm. So have a look and if it, people have any questions, because sometimes people are taking different medications, they might have just had a surgery. Right. So we have nurses standing by mm -hmm. seven days a week, 24 hours a day at one eight 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 two 2 donate So that's one eight 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 two three six six two eight three. 236 Okay. So if somebody has any questions, they can call in and if all seems good, then they can book the appointment right there. Right. If they'd like, they can download our app, okay. Give Blood app, okay. or they can go to blood.ca and they can set up a profile and book the appointment. So right. now you've booked your appointment and you're ready to come down. Okay. We want to make sure that you've had a good meal the night before in the morning of your donation, okay. that you're well hydrated. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't include coffee, by the way. People come in and they say, I've had lots of coffee. <laughs> Coffee's not a good uh, liquid right, to get hydrated right, yeah. with. So lots of water, drink lots of water. Okay. And it'll help you feel really good for the donation. Okay. So when people come in, they can, we'll set them down uh, at a tablet. Right. They'll do a questionnaire mm -hmm. and then they'll go in and see a screening nurse. Right. The screening nurse will really prick their finger with a little pin okay. and we'll do a hemoglobin check to right. make sure that, um, that you have enough iron in your blood. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, so recently we just increased our iron, uh, our donation frequency for ladies right. because we were worried about their iron. Okay. So now women can donate every 12 weeks. So, so anyway, you go in, mm -hmm. you pass your iron check, you answer any questions the screening nurse has, and then you're off to the beds. Okay. And so really, all in, it's under an hour. Mm -hmm. You go to the bed, we'll take some vials of blood for you that we right. do regular testing on, mm -hmm. and then we'll take that unit of blood. You get to sit in this very comfortable chair, lean back, and really relax and feel good about knowing that your unit of blood is going to help save someone's life. Absolutely. And of course, uh, not to forget the, uh, the snacks what you provide after you have donated the blood. Well, that's, that's one of the best parts for our donors, right? right? You get to see our lovely volunteers at the end of our clinic. Mm -hmm. You get juice and snacks and, and again, get to feel really good because, right. uh, you know, as we said earlier, that one unit of blood can be so important. Absolutely. So you said uh, after 12 weeks, uh, a woman can come and again donate blood. Yes. What about men? After how many days can they come and donate again? So blood? men, it's eight weeks. Okay. And women, it's 12 weeks. Right. So they can donate every eight weeks, okay. and women can donate every 12 weeks. Great. And and that's that's striking our balance between our need right. to make sure that we keep a good blood supply, mm -hmm. and our really requirement internally that we do the right thing for donors and make sure that we look after their health as well. Wonderful. Let's go for a short break, uh, David. We'll be back and learn more from you as to how the common public can also become a part of Canadian Blood Services and how they can also save lives of hundreds of people. Thank you for that. Tremendous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank David Patterson, the director of donor relations, the 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 donor relations, एक बार जब उसी जा के ब्लड देने हैं, एक कैंटे दे विच ऐसी ब्लड दे सकते हैं, पर उस तो पहला स्क्रीनिंग की थी जान दी है। ब्लड डॉट सीए ना दी वेबसाइट है जिसे जा के कुछ क्वेश्चनर्स ने और तुष्य पढ़ के देख सकते हो कि की तुष्य एलिजिबल हो ब्लड देन ले के नहीं हो। उस तो बात तुष्य जो क्लिनिक अतः यह पूरे कनाडा पर विच ट्रांसफर कीते जान दे रहे हैं। इन्हें एग्जांपल देता है अटलांटिक कनाडा विच जेकर कोई कमी है तो इतनो ब्लड जा सकता है या इतने कमी हो उतनो इतने आ सकता है क्या? तो इस करके ब्लड दे नाल डोनेशन दे नाल तो सी कई व्यक्तियां दी जिंदगियां बचा सकते हो। अतः ब्लड डोनेशन 
ਰੀਮੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਦੇ 18 ਵਕੀਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਿੱਤੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਹਾਰਤ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹਨ ਅਤੇ ਐਂਥਨੀ ਰੀਮੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਦੇ 30 ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਤਜਰਬੇ ਹੇਠ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਇਹ ਵਕੀਲ ਕਾਰਪੋਰੇਟ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਲਾਅ ਵਿਲਸ ਐਸਟੇਟ ਰੀਅਲ ਐਸਟੇਟ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਮਰਜਰਸ ਅਤੇ ਐਕਵੀਜ਼ੀਸ਼ਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਸਹੀ ਸਲਾਹ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਵੈਂਕੂਵਰ ਡਾਊਨਟਾਊਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਮਯਾਬੀ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਹੁਣ ਸਰੀ ਬਰਨਬੀ ਤੇ ਰਿਚਮੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਦਫ਼ਤਰ ਚੰਡੀਗੜ੍ਹ ਮਨੀਲਾ ਤੇ ਸ਼ੰਘਾਈ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਹਨ ਛੋਟਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਾਂ ਵੱਡਾ ਕੇਸ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖੋ ਰੀਮੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਪਨੀ ਫੀਸ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਾਜਬ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹਨ 6046491355 once again welcome back to the program mera saath de rahe hain david patterson jehde sade mehman ne canadian blood services to break to pehla ne dassya process ki hunda hai kis tarike nal tusi vi blood donation kar sakde ho aur isi samajh vich aur jankari le lene so before the break like you mentioned the duration how much time does it take what all you need to know uh, we also hear that uh, many times people who have been across uh, to some countries when they come back you have set a limit that they cannot come and donate blood for example from india it is probably a year if you have been to india after a year you can come back and donate but during this period you can't right similarly for other countries also there is some limit why is this limit set up the limit is set up really and there's a variety of reasons why right. we can't take blood but really it's our requirement to make sure that we create a cl- safe blood supply for patients right because we always have to remember that the patients bear the ultimate risk So we need to make sure that the unit of blood that we're going to transfuse into his patient or that the hospital will transfuse mm-hmm. is of the best quality. And so we have a variety of requirements for that and it's really all based on science. Right. Um you mentioned the malaria deferral for India. That's mm-hmm. that's a very valid one and and drives us all crazy. Right. But we follow the guidance of the World Health Organization and and our uh guiding partners in Canada, uh, Health Canada. Right. To make sure that the requirements we have are really what we need. Okay. The important piece to that is that we're always looking at them. Mhm. Um and finding out can we reduce that deferral period. Right. Uh so that's why you know there's people out there who may have donated blood years ago and have stopped because they were deferred. Right. Well now we'd say don't assume that you're still deferred. We'd ask you to make that phone call. Okay. Call in and see if you can defer again or sorry if you can donate again. Right. Because again our defer- deferral requirements do change. Okay. and the idea is to keep uh, the services safe you know so that the people who are getting the blood transfusion they do not suffer anything yeah okay. yeah but it does lead us to an important challenge yeah. is that in canada yeah. one in two people are eligible to give blood right. so they're the right age they haven't traveled they're the right height and weight they could safely give blood right. but only one in 60 actually does mm-hmm. and that's a stat that we're trying to change so in canada we have about 400,000 people who've donated blood at least once in the last year right and we'd like to improve that we'd like to have more people uh donate blood okay uh it's an important resource and th- the tough part in our jobs is that we do a very good job of making sure the blood is safe and right. good quality for patients but, how do but we can't manufacture people. it absolutely so it really has to come from donors and that's absolutely. why we need everybody to to consider it part of part of being a canadian that's right help people who are 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 in need very true and uh, also the communities are getting diverse now because uh, l- people from all over the world are coming to canada now so our, our efforts also made that uh, in their language the message goes out to them so that they can come forward and donate blood that's a part of our business that we're working on now okay. we know that the increased diversity in canada mm-hmm. will mean that we need to in our clinics be able to take donors that speak other languages right. because currently it really is english and french right and so we're working currently on some translator clinics that mm-hmm. we're hoping to do a better job we've done a couple um and so we 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 know that so it's, it's an area we need to work yeah it really okay. is a process and right. uh, we know there's more work to do on it okay let's talk a little bit about the community groups we find when yeah. you go to a blood donor camp or a, a clinic there are names of different groups who come forward as a community to support this cause right. and in this cause in british columbia especially we see that uh, sikh nation has played a very important role there are many other groups also which come forward so tell us a little bit about this that uh, how can people or associations form groups and come forward and donate as a community also well first i'll i'll just take a moment to acknowledge the incredible contribution from sikh nation mm-hmm. they have been partners with us for many years um just in around the long weekend in november this last year mm-hmm. there's almost 1400 units of blood donated across canada right and that's not enough for them they want to continue to grow that mm-hmm. uh so if anybody's interested in looking that up they can look up seek De- seek nation blood donation okay. on facebook and find out how to connect with those folks because they do tremendous job in british columbia we'll collect about 2000 units of blood mm-hmm. from seek nation members alone so okay but if people are out there and wondering how they can be part of it um 
how they can get their soccer team or their uh, their reading group or just a group of parents together or family members. Right. They can just call us at one 888 donate and we'll connect them with the right people. Right. And what we find a lot of times is it's community groups like Sick Nation, mm -hmm. but it's also people who want to remember maybe a loved one who passed right. away, uh -huh. who required 20, 30 units of blood before, the pass before they passed away. It helped them maybe get an extra year right. and they want to find a way to give that back so they rally their friends and family right. and it's a lovely way to, to uh, remember someone mm -hmm. and really pay it forward and collect blood for the next pe people okay. that need that blood. So. Right. So David, it's a major challenge as you said right now that uh, there are a lot of people who can come forward and uh, donate blood in memory of someone or yeah. as a community they can come forward. But uh, along with any other issues what uh, you are facing which you would like to tell our uh, people today so that they can also become a part of this movement because it's a cause which everybody espouses which is a good cause and everybody wants to contribute in some form or the other. Yeah. If as a member because of some restrictions you yeah. have been to India or you have been to any other country and you come back for a you know particular period you cannot donate blood but can they also support in any other form by form of uh, coming as a volunteer or supporting in any other way? So we have many ways in okay. which people can support us. So you're right, being a volunteer is one. Mm -hmm. And again, you can apply online through blood.ca. Okay. People volunteer for us in our clinics. Right. They're those lovely people who give you juice and cookies at the end. Mm -hmm. They volunteer for us in community events and help us spread the word about the need for blood donors. Right. Um, people can join our stem cell registry. Mm -hmm. Particularly important for a non-Caucasian group. So our stem cell program is targeting 17 to 35 year old ethnically diverse males. Okay. And the reason we say ethnically diverse is certainly a growing segment of population in mm -hmm. Canada. We have a lot of Caucasian registrants on the registry, but we need to increase our diversity and for two reasons. Right. One, certainly we have far more groups from many other countries coming into Canada. Mm -hmm. But now, which makes it even more difficult, is that we have mixed marriages of right. different ethnicity. Mm -hmm. And so we, that's the area that we really need to enrich our registry base. And again, it's called the, the One Match Stem Cell Program. And okay. if you're a 17 to 35 year old male, go to blood.ca okay. or come to a clinic. If you'd like, we'll mail a, a form right to your house. Right. It takes five minutes to do at your coffee table. Okay, while well you explain the importance of donating blood, stem cell, what is this used for? If you could just explain in layman's language to our viewers today. A lot of times a stem cell transplant is the last resort for people with blood cancers. Okay. So they will go through regular cancer therapies. Right. And when it comes down to it, this is the last, this is the last step for them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for us, we've done lots of stem cell drives for patients. You may right. have seen them in your community. Right. Where we'll, we're looking for a match for a certain patient. That's right. That's not the way we want to do it. What mm -hmm. we want to do is, when that patient needs that registrant, we want to have them on file already. Right. We want to have that match already. Okay. So if we have to do drives, that's okay. Right. But we'd much rather people come out. Mm -hmm. Again, 17 to 35 year old ethnically diverse males. Right. And again, I explained why it's ethnic, ethnically diverse. Important, right. But it's important for males because males, from a doctor's perspective, mm. have a much better chance of a better result in the patient. Okay. There is something called graft versus host disease. Right. And it happens more often with female donors. Okay. So that's why we try to pick men. Mm -hmm. And they're often bigger and have more stem cells to give. So right. that's really why we do that. But it's a really good, really good program. Great. So these are the two things by ah, which people can... There's more. Yeah. <laughs> there's more. So it's a cord blood program. Okay. So if you're a mom who's giving birth, again, in Women's Hospital in Vancouver, mm -hmm. Lois Hall in Edmonton, uh, William Osler, I believe, in mm -hmm. Ottawa, and I uh, can't remember the hotel, uh, hospital okay. in Brampton. Right. But you can actually donate your cord blood. Okay. And so a very rich source of stem cells okay. and a really innovative program that we're very proud to be part of. Mm -hmm. um, and the last one is really a financial donation. If people right. like, they can make a financial donation mm -hmm. to us. Okay. And while they're doing all of that, they can advocate their friends and family. Right. If, if they can donate, donate right. if you can, please come help. Right. Donate on my behalf. It's it's a lovely way to uh, to really help save a life. There's a reason we use "It's in you to give" as our tagline. Right. It really is. Absolutely. And of course, it comes again and again. So the more you can donate, the better it is. You can save hundreds of lives. Hundreds it is a lives. pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for coming over here and sharing this information with our viewers. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. So, Joy Jesse Galbat Kiti was there with David Patterson. He can have a key blood donation. What to what the Tija way? They are not a key. Haki Sanubada man, a key. Sari communities are key. Ariane, they BC the with sick nation, a pitchless all. The Kriban Dohazar units at the end. 
ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜੇਕਰ ਕਿਸੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰਕ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਦੀ ਯਾਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਡੋਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਰਗੇਨਾਈਜੇਸ਼ਨ ਫਾਰਮ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ blood.ca ਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਸਟੈਮ ਸੈਲ ਰਜਿਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ 17 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ 35 ਏਜ ਤੱਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਨੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਸਟੈਮ ਸੈਲ ਰਜਿਸਟਰੀ ਕਰਵਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਹੈ ਕੋਰ ਬਲੱਡ ਗਰੁੱਪ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਮਾਤਾਵਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਗਰਭ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਜਨਮ ਦਿੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹ ਕੋਰ ਬਲੱਡ ਕੈਂਪੇਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਜੇਕਰ ਮਾਇਕ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਸਹਾਇਤਾ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਬਚਾਣੀ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡਾ ਕਰਮ ਹੈ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਜੇਕਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਰੀਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਖੂਨ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਸਹੀ ਉਪਯੋਗ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਆਓ ਸਾਰੇ ਰਲ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਵੱਧ ਚੜ ਕੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਈਏ ਤੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਬਚਾਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣਾ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਪਾਈਏ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਣੀ ਹੋਏ ਤਾ